It's our anniversary! Yay! Yay! Five years today. <laughs> Five years today. Isn't it, Angel? Yes. We've come to Birmingham for the day. We're gonna go to a restaurant for lunch. We've booked a place called Folium, which is, it's a three um, rosette restaurant that's meant to be shortlisted for Michelin star either this, like this month or next October. It's meant to be really, really nice, like really up there. As you probably know, if you've been watching us for a while, that our tradition is that every anniversary we explore like a new or go to a new Michelin star restaurant or a really posh restaurant because I'm a proper foodie. Josh is a proper foodie. I'm probably more though, aren't I? Yeah, you've got me into it. Yeah, I just really l like like really nice, good quality food. And I love the whole experience of going to a posh restaurant and stuff. I get that off my dad. <laughs> Why do you need a wee that bad? Always oh, needing a bloody Sorry. wee. <laughs> Sorry, I don't need to apologize. <laughs> wrong choice of outfit today guys it's freezing outside isn't it yeah it's really absolutely cool. freezing my face it's like icicles you can yo sushi warms us up yeah we're going to yo sushi to get like two plates each before we go for our meal later because we've got a few hours yet but we've come into the ball ring so it's nice and warm in here <laughs> i miss out working at selfridges makes me sad Standard Yo Sushi shop that we always get every time we come Yo Sushi. <laughs> yes, thank thank you. you. Now don't get carried away and, and eat too much now. You've got a posh meal soon. I told you though, I would have been so happy just coming Yo Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke either. Like I said to Josh, I'd be happy just coming Yo Sushi. I also, I've been, um, oh my favourite, it's the, the prawn one. It's my favourite. But yeah, I've um, been sneaky and I've just put my heels in the car and left them in the car and I'm actually wearing my Nikes. So I don't have to walk around Birmingham in heels so I can just look nice for the restaurant. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, sushi is the nicest. Nice. Oh, you you love that shit, don't you? Is it? It's ginger, isn't it? Is yeah. it pickled ginger? Yeah. John, you know we used to eat loads of that in London when we used to go to the Baker Street one all the time. Try it. No. Why? I don't want to. It looks weird. It looks like ham. What? <laughs> I could have just keep, kept eating. Yeah. Chunks of milk chocolate cookie pieces and 23 carat gold. That's uh, crazy. Ooh, get me another espresso. Remembers. Remembers. I love <laughs> this wall. Like I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we had that many capsules that. in our house. That's cool. It reminds That's me of my one. things. It reminds me of one of my pictures. Or both are arms yeah. behind you. Chin, you've got a piece of tree in your hair. Ah. You had a piece of tree. What in your tree hair. is it? That's probably from our garden. <laughs> Can I just read that spoon? Mm -hmm. This is the newer version of the one that we've got, the Pixie, and it looks so nice. I feel like we need something like this though, but it looks really impressive. We've got our Nespresso capsules. Boop, 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 boop. I'm thinking about getting Calo one of these. Not now, today. Because I'll see what our size is, because that looks massive. Yeah, it does. But uh, we'll see how big she is towards Christmas, but for Christmas I want her to wear a tutu. That's cute. I don't think we can go anywhere in life without Josh having to have a pee every like three, four seconds. We've been to one place, here he is. Always waiting for Josh to have a wee. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Look at some feeler shoes. I really want some feeler shoes. It's really zoomed in. I was really close to the camera as well. Yeah. I've had to read far up my arse. 
We've come to H&M. <laughs> And I'm going to get this jumper. It's only £9 from H&M. It's like, I've got it in XL, like a large pink jumper. It would look fucking sick if I got the pink feeler trainers with it. But um, they're £80 and I can't justify spending £80 on a pair of, pair of um, feeler trainers when I'm on maternity leave because I'm skin. <laughs> so we just went into Topshop. I um, went to try on a pair of jeans, some mom jeans. Kid you not. I didn't even fit into a size 14. Now, I've never been bigger than a 12. And I thought in my head that I was going to be a size 14. And I was like, you know what? I need to suck it up and just buy a pair of 14 size jeans. But I can't fit in them, which is great news. But that's a short sign, if there ever was one, that I definitely need to get on the cross trainer. Because the baby weight's not going to shift itself. Literally, I would cry. But callow is more important, and I've got callow, and that's why I'm fat. So, <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> if any of you watch Big Brother, we've just seen Isaac, the one that's literally just been kicked out of Big Brother. And I think wasn't I well behaved? Yeah. Did I say anything? No, I'm surprised. Partly because, not that he was a nasty guy or anything, but he like, it's like he wasn't in there long enough, and he isn't like famous enough for me to be like, oh my god, oh my god, can I have a picture? So um, I was just like, yep, that's Isaac. I bet he was like, go on, get a picture with me. <laughs> I so would be though, if I had been on Big Brother, I'd be like, I want pictures with everyone. So I'd be like, come on, get a picture with me. Someone asked for I a don't picture know with why me. Someone would want a picture with anyone though. Like, it's I know. We've just dropped our stuff off at the car. And I'm just changing to my trusty old boots. Boots, these boots. boots. And now we're going to head over to Folium now. It's like a couple of minute walk. You did call it Folium and not Folio. No, Folium. <laughs> Folium, it's, it sounds very floral. Folium, it does, doesn't it? Liam. What are you thinking? Five. Oh, why can't you go for seven? <laughs> we can share if you go for seven. <laughs> First, a moose bouche. A moose bouche. A moose bouche. But, um, yeah, I feel like. There's nothing to do in there. Like, the, you want to, like, well, like, once you've seen it in every season. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've gone a bit tired, to be fair. Mm. It's all that walking round. Mm, Josh's first course. It's like an oyster cracker. Mm. Ooh, let's break the cracker and dip it in. <laughs> oh. Try of course, I want to try some. Don't be silly. Mm -hmm. Is it really nice? Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, you left a bit of your cracker in there. I'm going to steal it. A bit dark in here because of the light behind us. Now we've got homemade sourdough and homemade butter with a little pot of salt, which is perfect for me because I love salt. I'd eat that just with a spoon. Oh, it's nice and warm. Got smoked eel with smoked eel foam now. How is it? Is it e Ely? I think it'd be too fishy for me. Is it not? Mm, looks nice though. Mm. So we've got here a cucumber, lovage, and English wasabi. Mm. And then what's yours? Yours is the same, but it's got it's mackerel, got mackerel in. in it. What do you think? Mm. Good. They look pretty. I like the snow on it. Okay, so we've got turnip, henna of the woods, and autumn truffle. It smells really strong of cheese, like a real cheesy sauce. Mmm. I know you can't see me properly, but the course we've just had was amazing. Okay, the um, turnip was like pasta. It was so thin, it was like pasta. It was amazing, and like it was almost like a macaroni cheese taste. It was so good though. Mm. Would you like to try a piece? I wouldn't like to try a piece. I'm not a fan of turbot, but he has. Let me read it for you. It's turbot, potato, and hay butter. So it's like a, a butter infused with hay. Mm. 
How is it? Is it tasty? Mm -hmm. So Josh has got cod and parsley. Is it cod and parsley? Yeah, cod, cod and parsley with crispy cod. Mm. Oh, chin. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I have cauliflower, potato, and sea <laughs> and seaweed with la, la verge. I don't know. And this is like mushroom, smoky mushroom barbecue or something. Looks really nice. Look at this one. What about that one? What? Because it's so small. There's an island in it. <laughs> so the one I've just had, which is the cauliflower, potato, and seaweed, was one of the best things. The best things I've eaten ever. So good, so good. I actually think that matched that really nice um, creamed corn yeah. that I had at the that's, Angler. That's a, that's a push, that is. I know, because do you remember how much I loved that creamed corn? But that was amazing. Okay, so this was the dessert I was most excited for. It's a sheep yogurt sorbet with spruce and lemon thyme, and then white chocolate, aer aerated white chocolate. How amazing does it look? How is it? Mm. So it looks so nice. So the chocolate, coconut, and burnt cream. Oh, it looks so tasty. How is it? Got your little last verdict. Don't go chucking it across the table this time. <laughs> Stop. How amazing was that? That was really good. I'd say it's up there as one of my top three. It's my favourite. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I felt like that was a bit strong because we've only just left. But no, it was definitely my favourite. The atmosphere. Yeah. You know, they don't even have three rosettes. Really? I was asking her. So I thought, I thought when on TripAdvisor, somebody had wrote a review that was like, can't believe you've only got three rosettes. Well, I was just speaking to the waitress. Do you remember which way it was? Yeah. I was just speaking to the waitress and she was like, we haven't got anything yet. I was like, what? She said, yeah, because we've only been open less than a year. So you're not allowed to be like, review, re um, given an award until you've been open for longer than a year. So they're not allowed to be reviewed till next October now. What? So, um, but they, she said like that, they're aiming for the Michelins because that's, it was definitely gonna get one. Oh, yeah. All the reviews online were saying, you know, I can't believe it hasn't got a Michelin or, and um, I read one woman put, I hope you can hear me by the way and the wind's not too bad because I haven't put the microphone on again. But yeah, I read one review and somebody was like, can't believe they haven't got a Michelin and oh my God, this deserves a Michelin, but that's the reason why, that's gonna get one. 100%. I said to the lady, um, <laughs> the waitresses were lovely, weren't yeah. they? They were so nice. We were chatting away to us. It was so lovely. We're not in your face. It was lovely. They weren't stuck up either. Yeah, they were nowhere near stuck up. And I think that's one thing that you get in Michelin's, isn't it? Yeah. It's like sometimes you can walk in and you feel a bit like you've got to um, kind of not put on a front, but be a bit like, hello. <laughs> Doesn't it? It feels like that. Whereas that felt so relaxed and so nice. I'm so sorry if it's windy and you can't hear me. I thought I'd just carry on my conversation now. I'm back in the car because I was really Hang worried it was super way. windy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was really, really nice. And so that is called that. That is called that restaurant's called Folium, and it's in Birmingham near the Jewelry Quarter. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Gotta, t gotta say, if you go, you've gotta have the sheep's yogurt sorbet. Now, we weren't didn't know what that was gonna taste like because like sheep's yogurt, that sounds weird, but it's beautiful. Like, it was definitely my favorite dish of the whole meal. And it was one of the nicest things I've ever eaten in a Michelin star or like really posh restaurant. Let's go get little girl. I'm really excited to get little girl. Cause um, little girls that are um, at mom's, so she's at her nanny's and it's weird leaving her and I miss her. <laughs> so I'm excited to go and get her now, are you? Yeah. We're coming little girl, little girl. 